This is high intensity warrior training. 20 second intervals with a 10 second break in between each for a total of eight rounds and a total time of four minutes. Round one, punch sprints. Round two, push ups. Round three, right knees. Round four, tiptoe squats. Round five, punch sprints again. Round six, push ups again. Round seven, left knees. And round eight to finish it off, jump squats. All right, let's get ready for round one. Punch sprints for 20 seconds. Get into a fight stance. Hands are up. These are going to be straight punches. Ready? Here we go. All right, you want to rotate your core on every single punch. Extend your arm all the way to the end. Make sure that you're using your legs. Make sure that you're exhaling on every single punch. You've got about 10 seconds left. You can pick up the pace a little bit. Keep those hands up. Keep punching straight in front of you. You're almost there. A few seconds left. And time. All right, you got a 10 second break. You're gonna get down into a push up position. Make sure that your arms are nice and straight. Try to keep your back and your legs straight. You got 20 seconds of push ups and go. So here you wanna exhale on your way up. So when you're pushing up, that's when you wanna exhale and you inhale on your way down. I'd rather see you do five really good solid push ups than try to do 10 half push ups. Try to go all the way down, all the way back up. We're almost there, just a few seconds left and time. All right, back up on your feet. You're going to get back into a fight stance because now we're going to do right knees. So make sure that you're in a nice, strong fight stance. We've got 20 seconds of right knees coming up. Let's go. All right, here for technique, we're going to focus on pushing the knee out with the hip as the knee comes up. You're going to want to pull down almost as if you're grabbing something in front of you and pulling it down towards your knee. You're about halfway there. You want to balance yourself by leaning back a tiny bit. Make sure that you exhale on every knee. Time is almost up and time. All right, stay loose on these 10-second breaks. You can bounce around a little bit. The next one we're going to be doing are tiptoe squats. Get in a squat position, feet shoulder width apart, and here we go. So for tiptoe squats, you want to go down, and when you come up, you pop up onto your toes. All the way down, pop up onto your toes. This is going to flex the calf muscles, and it's almost like you're about to jump right off the ground, but you stop right before the jump. You got a couple more left to do. Try to get up as far up on your toes as you can. A couple more, three, two, one one and time nice all right you just hit the halfway mark so let's go back to punch sprints we're gonna back into a fight stance hands are up 20 seconds of punch sprints bring the intensity and let's go all right even if you're speeding it up you got to keep good technique you got to turn the core you got to snap those punches out you got to keep your feet nice and grounded you got to exhale on every single punch all right come on about five seconds left so now you really got to push turn and breathe on every single punch i can't stress the breathing enough you got three two one and time okay okay here we go we're going for a second round of push-ups so let's get back down onto the floor get into push-up position we got 20 seconds of push-ups coming up again let's go remember the goal is to go all the way down to the ground and come all the way back up if you need to put a knee down onto the ground to make it easier if you need to do, even put two knees onto the ground it's fine just make sure that you're bringing your chest and your hips all the way down to the floor you're pushing back up you're remembering to breathe on every single push three two one time all right we just got through round six which means we got two left to go this one is left knees so back into your fight stance here we go with 20 seconds of left knees and go so again technique you want to make sure that you're pushing your hip out as the knee comes up you want to point your toes down you can pretend to grab something in front of you and pull it towards your knee you want to exhale on every single knee and you want to maybe lean back just a little bit for some extra balance in three two one and time okay this is it to so the final round this time we're going for jump squat so before it was tiptoe now it's a full jump squat you're going to jump up into the air come back down and bend your knees on your landing let's go make sure that when you land you bend your knees immediately and go down into your next squat you want to jump up by throwing your arms back it's going to make you feel like you're blasting off into the sky make sure you get a nice rhythm going try to go down nice and low come up explode up Get your toes up off the ground. Here we go. Three, two, one, done. All right, so either get ready for round two or go straight to your breathing protocol. Good work. Peace.